Well, here I go. Where are we going? Oh, well, I'm gonna go wash my truck. Why am I gonna go wash my truck? We need the rain. Plus, there's woolly aphids everywhere leaving honeydew all over it. So I'm gonna wash my truck. Look at the leaves. Poor trees, it's not even close to autumn yet. They hadn't seen rain in like a month. The leaves are coming down or have been coming down like it's almost autumn. Not quite, but close. See the little woolly aphid right there? They're all over the place. Little bitty woolly aphid. They love to eat hackberry trees. Another one flying around over there. Well, they're flying around everywhere. They're even stuck all over the truck because they lay down honeydew, which is a sap out of the tree, and they can't carry it all. So they excrete it like almost like doo doo. Then they get stuck in it and they get all stuck on your truck. Don't know whether I can get a good view of that little fuzzy thing. Look at that. Even the weeds are dying. Here, along the tree line. Need the rain, so I'm gonna go wash my truck. Yeah, I realize this video is not gonna be much. It's about weather. Well, what's a better topic to talk about? So Earl's gonna make a video about weather. Nobody else is, so here I am. The situation here in Tennessee has been a little bit strange this year. Normal average rainfall, annual rainfall is, uh, in Nashville is about 47 inches. Well, you figure, okay, that's about four inches a month, but of course you got wet months and dry months. The wettest month is May, and it followed through. We had uh, some record-breaking flooding going on and some tornadoes back then. June still rained, it's like, are we going to uh, get a break so I can mow my grass? We were getting so much rain that I needed to be mowing my grass twice a week, which I'm not going to do, but it's what it needed. My yard's too big to be doing that. Uh, but then July rolled around. Hello, July. Usually it's hot, depressive, and thunderstorms and more rain. It's not supposed to get dry, dry until August. That's normal around here. But July was dry too. Now, there was some bit of measurable rainfall in the Nashville area, but up here on the ridge where I live? No, it, every time I heard about it raining in Nashville, it stayed dry here around my house. I might have walked out one morning with the ground wet. We are weather alert as we continue to watch for the extreme heat. And speaking of extreme heat, it has led to extremely dry soil, which has led to a flash drought. It has ramped up in a big way. Now we notice just about all of our region in the at least level one dry drought, but it goes all the way up to level four extreme drought. How much rain that we have seen in the last 30 days in Nashville. It is not much at all. In the areas of red, we're talking a tenth under a half an inch of rain for sure in these locations where the severe drought adds at a deficit of rainfall for this month likely to not catch up to this at all three inches behind four wonder what the news said the last time we'd seen a drought of this severity is uh, was in 2007 and i remember that one distinctly because i lost a bush out of the deal from it being so dry. My neighbors lost several trees. It was just a weird year. But I don't know what's normal here in this in this place. I've never figured out Nashville. Yes, August is normally dry, but this is unusually dry now. I remember when I, when I first moved here and uh, you know, everybody clamors about, uh, oh, I, lo I love having the four seasons. And when I moved here, they definitely had four seasons. I remember my first couple of winters and when September 21st rolled around being the first day of fall man it was, it was like somebody flipped a big switch went from being you know 80 degrees uh, down to near 40 overnight and became that way on through until uh, the turn of the year into the springtime weird it's not like that anymore now we can have blistering hot temperatures all the way up until November all right, enough of that. So here I am. I'm gonna wash the truck. 
in hopes of uh, getting some rain. you noisy ravens you stay away from my truck I want it clean for the rain I don't want it dirty till the rain gets here there that's kind of sort of better it's all nice and clean I'm gonna double down on this though I do believe the shuttle bug needs to be washed too it hasn't been driven since after the last rain over a month ago that stuff right there but it's all sticky you can see them little bugs all stuck everything hello I see you look at that all little aphids stuck all over it all right oh my gosh that's like glue going to the car wash again About as dirty a windshield can get. Come on, Lees, blow away. Don't want those in the car wash. There's no limitation as to how much goo a car can have on it. From all the honeydew from the, the doo doers. Look at that. Or don't look at that. That's about as bad as it gets. You think you'll be able to get all this goo off of here? I hope so. Are you, are you, are you a member? No. You need a membership, so you need to come in every day. Yeah. Thank you.
I'm moving. Let's see how this goes. Two car washes done, $58 later, it better rain now. The mirror. Yeah, well, while I'm doing all this deep thinking about weather, I come to realize I hadn't mowed my grass in a month. But quite literally, today being the 30th of August, I haven't mowed my grass since uh, the end of July. That's something else. The other things I found interesting this past month was that uh, yesterday, August 29th, my birthday, we set a record high temperature for that date. It stood since 1897 when it got to 102 degrees. So, unusually hot for the end of August, yet, not eight days prior, on the 21st of August, we had a record low of 54 degrees, which is pretty astronomical, literally, maybe meteorological, but yeah. It's pretty amazing to be breaking two records in this within a seven day span with one being the record high and the other one being a record low. I thought that was interesting. But yes, August, August, uh, it's been from one extreme to another throughout the many years I've lived here. Uh, I've seen several Augusts roll around where the temperature maintained something more like what you would find in September, which is beautiful. We love that here. Uh, July being so hot and oppressive with the high humidity. If August rolls around and wants to pretend like it's September, hey, I'll take it. But then we've had some August and even into September of some years that pretended like they wanted to be July. Pretty wild. Uh, hey, I told you I'd be talking about weather. You got yours, and I know you have your extremes, but I don't see your videos. again get out of here and see how that car wash did this actually might be a good re review for them if they got all that goop off not too bad didn't quite get the window very well but nothing on the car That's pretty good. I probably was an extreme version of what a car would get like from having been parked for a month under the dry weather and all the honey, all the woolly aphids doing their thing on it. Turned out pretty good. So now it should rain. Great. Starting to cloud up. This is the next day. A couple other items to note is that when I lived in the city, I never, really, I never really gave it much thought about lack of rain and how it might impact 
me other than just the grass dying. But I do live in the middle of the woods. So, I'm not saying it's, here all that greenery there will not burn. I don't know. I know the Gatlinburg out in East Tennessee has had their share of fires stem from uh, dry weather. And uh, not recently, thankfully, but in the past. And, it, and I do live at the top of a hill. So if a fire starts, I can say from a, say from a uh, down there, and it so happens to be where the creek, or probably a dry, a dry creek now is, if lightning were to strike and it started a fire, I live at the top of the hill. There's my house. So, another thing I'll note, over there, a little embarrassed to show you because that air conditioner behind my grill is dripping condensate water. It hadn't occurred to me that I've been seeing squirrels out here, like, I don't know, about every other morning when I open the door, there's a squirrel standing right there, like, squirrel! And uh, I didn't know what they was doing. And I realized the condensate water that's accumulating down there is probably their only source for water at the moment. Because if that creek bed down there is dry and there's been no rain, there's been no dew because of the low humidity. So what I did is I put a thing of water out here. I put a camera there too. Maybe I'd catch one of them doing it. Be it a squirrel, birds, whatever. But whether I get it on a camera or not, doesn't matter. At least I'm getting a little bit of water. That and mosquitoes. And that's it. Hopefully it rains today. It's cloudy. Let's hope.